welcome back so after you install cypress you will see that note module folder is created for you okay so all cypress related dependencies are stored in this node modules folder okay make sure you have this folder after you run this command so that you can verify if cypress is successfully installed in your machine or not so thereafter if you read the logs carefully after installation they were telling that you can now open cypress test runner by running this command okay what is this command so basically open is command which will help you to invoke test runner but you want to hit that command only from node modules dot bin cypress path that means node modules dot bin cypress basically this is an cypress dot exe file so whatever commands you want to use for cypress should be hit from this path okay so then only it will recognize the cypress command if you try to hit cypress open from another path then you will get error saying cypress is not recognized as internal or external command because all cypress related .exe files are present in this bin folder so that's the reason these guys are asking us to go to that path first and then hit command cypress open to open the test runner okay so when you download your cypress all your exe files will be stored on this bin directory from node modules okay so you can copy this path and blindly paste it here because this is the suggestion what we got from cypress guys to open test runner and, and you see how cool it is they are providing neat documentation on how to work on our next steps and not only this on our journey in this course you will realize how hard work they have done to make our lives easy you will see a very detailed logs screenshots video and so many things are present in this tool i am as i told in my beginning lectures i am so excited and i think this will uh, top the market and kick out all other automation tools because the way they were developing it i was really impressed okay so hit and enter it says that it looks like this is your first time using cypress how nice it is if we see something like this we we get a feeling that we were doing something right opening cypress and then within a one or two minutes you will see the cypress editor stay on patient because it might take one or two minutes for the first time later when you open again it might open fast but for very first time it will take some time to check some dependencies before it open the tool let's wait on that okay so it seems it opened very fast this time so this is the test runner and observe one thing here by opening cypress test runner you have a message here it is saying that we have added some folders and examples tests to your project so that means we have created one empty project right cypress automation we just created only one package.json inside it but after you open cypress from that project path cypress had an intelligence and it's saying that you need to follow some project structure if you want to work with cypress and it's saying that i have done that all hard work and i created that project structure for you that's the message we have added some folders and some sample test cases as well for your project that's beauty right where are they let's see that okay got it for now minimize it and look at here refresh your project and you see that there is a folder called cypress created for us we did not create this we just created cypress automation 
and when you open this folder you have a different folders called fixtures integrations plugin support cypress.json you see that we generally need all these folders to create a framework using cypress but cypress created for us it created all the templates so that you can just write code inside it is there any framework in the world which will automatically create all these for us no so this has created template and what all you need to work and it has provided some sample test cases as well with the code real code inside it now for example um, if you want to uh, open any file you see that this is all code which we are going to learn in our coming lectures but they have provided all the sample test cases for us anyways you might not understand anything if you see like this by end of this course you will get idea on what all these about so for now you can minimize this okay so we understood that cypress created project structure for us and if you open the test runner back and this is your first look okay so these are the different test cases which are already present in our project because cypress gave us so let's do one thing um this is one test case right for suppose if you want to run this test i will show you how easy it is just click on this test and it will automatically launch a browser and we will see how it automates now just hang on you see that test is gonna start now perfect it started and left side you will see logs and right side you will see real execution you see how fast it is and done test case execution is done let me take a large test which will have more information for you to visit maybe this is another test i selected aliasing so left side is all your test steps and right side is your execution okay so this is how you can run your test it's already done if you want to rerun this again select this perfect it's done so don't worry about a test runner and all these options i will clearly explain in my next lecture what all these options here and how to take big advantage of this test runner so my main point here is to show that if you want to run any test um, you can simply select that uh, test here you can just click on this link and automatically execution will start for that particular test and that's what i want to show it here you see that how fast it is it's typing everything cool your execution is on for that specific actions.js whatever i selected and it's going on and for every step you have a proper log here and that's how you can run test from test runner anyways right now we did not build any test and i am not going to depend on these tests whatever it generated we need not watch it let's learn from scratch step by step and learn everything you need not worry about what cypress gave you okay so this is how you run test from test runner and we will actually build one basic test in our next lecture and i will show how to run that test from test runner as well as from a command line okay so we'll see that in our next lecture thank you